Hello, I'm Paul Douglas. In this video, I'm going to take a look at BIOS FX, which is an AMP simulator program that you can buy and use for PC and Mac. You can also uh, get a version of this for portable devices, but in this uh, in this particular tutorial, we're merely looking at the desktop ed edition for PC and Mac. BIOS FX is an amp simulator program. It simulates guitar amplifiers and associated effects, hence the name. Um, amp sims are a bit of a weird one. Uh, they're very much a personal preference. Uh, if you go online, look at forums and, and reviews and things, you'll see people swear by Ampsim X, and then you'll see other people say, no, X is rubbish, Y is miles better, etc. Um, it, it does seem to be very much a personal choice. My own personal preference is um, I've been using Bias FX pretty much exclusively for, for the last couple of years um, and I think it's great. I think it sounds great. I think it's easy to use. Um, I have no affiliation with Positive Grid other than uh, using their product as a happy customer. It won't take you very long um, if you go online to, to find opinions that are completely the opposite of mine saying it, it sounds crap and X other amp sim is miles better. You'll also find lots of people that do agree with me as well. So um, it's very much one of those things where you make your own mind up, you know. Uh, most of the, the amp sim uh, manufacturers have a, a trial version or a, a demo version that you can download um, and try them out for yourself, and I, I think that's the way to go. You've just got to make your own mind up. This is going to be a, a series of probably about five or six videos where I uh, talk through Bias FX and how to use its features. Um, in this first video, we're going to talk about installing it and uh, basic setup. Normally with a software tutorial like this, I wouldn't bother talking about installation. I assume that you know how to install software on your machine, but there's just one particular bit of it that I want to point out uh, here and explain. At this point, we've already gone to uh, Positive Grid's website and downloaded BiosFX. Um, we've got the MSI Windows install file here. So if I double click that in the usual way, here we go. And this is uh, very familiar to you all, I'm sure. So this bit here, this is what I wanted to point out, this install BIOS FX application standalone mode. Um, so what this bit will do, if you tick, have this checkbox checked, um, it will install a program that, uh, you know, you can have a, an icon on your desktop uh, to double click and run or in the start menu or in the taskbar, wherever, just like any normal Windows program. If you untick that box, then it will install purely the plugin for your DAW, your Digital Audio Workstation. Um, if you don't know what that means, then I wouldn't worry about it at that stage. If that is the case, then you probably want to leave that checked. Whenever I install this, I want both. I want the actual application you can use. so. That's uh, used if I ju all I want is something to be a, a guitar amplifier that I just plug my guitar into and away I go playing. But I also record with Bias FX, so I want the plugin as part of my uh, DAW. So I'm going to keep that checked and click next. And we keep going and we just wait for that to complete. OK, so we're now all installed. I'm going to launch it from the start menu. Uh, where are we? Bias effects. Bias effects. There we go. Takes a few seconds to load up. And here we go. Now you'll notice that popped up demo version uh, at the start there where I launched it. It's saying demo version. Now, I actually own Bias FX. I have bought it, so um, it shouldn't be the demo version, but that is because I've not logged in. So I'm just going to log in now. Uh, so uh, it associates with my Positive Grid account, and uh, it should hopefully change to not be the demo version. If you go to App Information, um, 
you can see that the license tier says demo uh, we click on the gear icon and go down to login tone cloud if I then put in my email and password here And if we have a look on here again, we can go to app information and you see license tier now says professional. Might be worth pointing out at this point that there are um, two versions, maybe three actually, um, of bias effects. There's a, a standard version, a professional version. The only difference is um, the standard version has fewer models in it. So fewer amps and effects uh, that you can use. I upgraded to the professional version a while ago um, cause there was a special offer on at the time but I used the standard version for quite a while and it was absolutely fine. Okay so hopefully we're all ready to uh, ready to rock now. First thing you want to do is set this up with your particular audio hardware. So if we go into audio settings here audio device type. Now if you see something called ASIO, A-S-I-O, uh, which stands for something like Audio System Input Output or Advanced System Input Output, uh, I don't know. Um, that is probably what you want to select. These are um, these are drivers that are optimized for, for music, for, for audio use. Um, now, unfortunately, I can't show you exactly what your settings need to be here because your audio hardware will probably be different to mine. Um, I have a Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 interface, which is what my guitar is plugged into, and that's then uh, plugged into my computer. Um, but your settings should be somewhat similar to this, at least. So you don't want Windows Audio, you don't want direct sound. If ASIO is available, pick that. Um, output device, yep, that is my... Uh, Scarlett 2i2, um, that's the driver for my Scarlett 2i2 interface. Uh, stereo output, output channel, so um, that's the output. Sometimes audio interfaces have more than one set of outputs. Uh, in this case, I've only got that one to choose from. Um, input device, uh, again, we've picked the Focusrite driver for that. Um, this is a guitar I'm playing, standard guitar, so it's a, a mono input. Um, this is always worth pointing out. The number of times that I have plugged my guitar into the interface, fired up bias effects and gone, why haven't I got any sound? Because I've had the input set to the wrong input. Um, I use input 2 for uh, guitars uh, on my interface, so it's worth checking that that does actually match where you've plugged your guitar into. And we've got sample rate and buffer size here. Um, the smaller you set this sample size uh, value, sorry, number of samples value, the lower the latency will be. Now, uh, if you don't know what latency is, basically it's it's the time, the difference in time between when you play the strings and you hear the sound. Now, five milliseconds is probably not long enough for the human ear to detect, so it will appear... Um, instantaneous. Um, the lower you set this you might end up having some audio glitches so just experiment it with it and get it as low as you possibly can without uh, any problems with the audio. You can have a test button here um, which will just play that test beep noise uh, and it's a quick way of uh, seeing if you set up your output correctly. So that all looks good. Let's just see, have we got any sound coming out of here? That's good. That pretty much covers the um, installation and setup of BIOS FX. Um, one thing I'm going to point out now, which uh, is a feature that we're definitely going to need, is down here we have a tuner. So um, very, very simple. All we do, tuner. It mutes the audio. You can unmute the audio. Um, and I'm sure you know how to use this one. Well, if I play the low E string, and we can tune up.
I hope you found this video useful. Please subscribe to the channel. Feel free to like and share this video. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Paul Douglas and I'll see you next time. Cheers.